It looks like Moon Knight Season 2 is coming to Disney Plus from Marvel Studios and it looks like the plot is going to have a lot of things in it that fans really want. And more. We knew there were several Marvel projects that were going to be getting a season two, or at least Marvel Studios has been discussing giving them a season two. Moon Knight season two is obviously one of them. Miss Marvel season two is another. We obviously got Loki season two, and from WandaVision, we are getting the Agatha series, and we're also getting the new Vision series as well that was just recently announced. And this is all a part of Marvel Studios' plan, building up to Avengers Secret Wars. Show some of the characters that we've already seen be the stars of their own shows and their own movies. Show them a little bit more before we get into Avengers Secret Wars. That way we can get even more invested in these characters and they can tie their stories in into the overall multiverse saga more than they already have been. That way when we get into Avengers Secret Wars, everything connects in a really seamless and easy way. We're super invested in the characters, which will make us super invested in the movie, of course. And although yes, right now it does look like Marvel Studios is working on a bunch of sequels like Captain America 4, the Thunderbolts is its own movie, but we have seen all of these characters before, so they're kind of getting their own sequels in one movie, plus other projects of course, but even though we're getting these sequels, it does look like Moon Knight Season 2 is going to tie in some new things that are coming to the MCU, especially on that supernatural side of the MCU. Blade is coming, and of course he is a new character to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. After Blade, we are getting the Midnight Suns, and there is going to be a connection to them in Moon Knight Season 2, really setting up the supernatural side of the MCU. And in a new report, the name has been thrown out there, the meme, the legend Mephisto. Looks like Mephisto could be in Moon Knight Season 2 and he could be there for a very specific purpose to set up the Midnight Suns. Rumor has it right now that he is going to be the main villain for that movie. And since Moon Knight is most likely going to be a part of the Midnight Suns, it would make sense to have Mephisto in Moon Knight Season 2 to set up the future for him. Now, the new report today is coming from the insider Holyfield News, who states that Moon Knight Season 2 will be announced at D23 this year. Now, D23 comes in August, which is after after San Diego Comic-Con. And if this report ends up being true, that means that Marvel Studios may not reveal everything for Phase 6 at Hall H, which could be a good sign, or it could be a bad one. But what we're hoping for is that Marvel Studios has some really huge projects lined up that they're ready to announce at San Diego Comic-Con, and they're going to really focus on those projects. Plus, we do know at SDCC, they're going to take time to focus on their upcoming movies like The Thunderbolts, Captain America, Brave New World. This will also probably be the first time that we actually see the Fantastic Four cast in person all together. So you know that they're going to have a lot of time to talk about the Fantastic Four, and we're hoping we get an official X-Men movie announcement from Marvel Studios. And what might happen is that Marvel Studios might simply just focus on most of their movies that they have coming out, including giving us an update about what is happening with Avengers 5. Is it still titled Avengers King Dynasty, or are they moving away from that title altogether? We have heard recently recently from insider Daniel RPK that we're expected to hear a Kang announcement very soon. And what that announcement is most likely going to be is the replacement, the recast of Kang the Conqueror. And it makes sense that that announcement would be coming because according to Holyfield News, Moon Knight Season 2 will feature Kang. There are reportedly going to be several villains, but Kang is going to be one of those villains. And if we think back to the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania post credit scene, we saw the Council of Kangs and we saw Rama Tut the Kang variant. It's widely speculated at this point in time that Moon Knight will explore the Kang variant Rama Tut, considering his connection to ancient Egypt. Now that is most likely what is going to be the big connection that brings Moon Knight into the events of Avengers Secret Wars, because right now he doesn't really have any connections with anybody. It's not like he's interacted with the Avengers before. And as far as we're concerned, he doesn't really know any of the Avengers. And right now, he basically thinks that Khonshu has left him. However, we know, thanks to the ending of Moon Knight Season 1, that he hasn't. So sure, when the events of Avengers Secret Wars and the events leading up to that movie start to go down and the multiverse kind of starts to collapse, he could just say, hey, I kind of have some powers. It's my duty to try and help people, to try to save people, basically do what he can to try and help out. However, fans will get a lot more invested if you really tie him into what's going on via Rama Tut, a really famous Kang variant, especially if it's going to be the same Rama Tut variant that we saw in the Council of Kangs. That would mean that not only is he going to fight a Kang variant, but he is going to fight a major Kang variant, one that is in charge of, as we saw, literally infinite amount of Kang variants. And what's really interesting to think about is that Kang, or one of his variants, has probably already fought Moon Knight. Stephen Grant, Mark Spector, whoever you want to call 
call it, our main person, is the modern day Moon Knight. However, we know that Khonshu has picked other people to be Moon Knight in the past. There was a Moon Knight in ancient Egyptian times. Khonshu has picked countless champions throughout history, all of which would have had the Moon Knight powers. Every person that he would have picked would be the avatar for Khonshu to be on the earthly plane. So Rama Tut might have actually already fought Moon Knight, not our Moon Knight, not Mark Spector or Stephen Grant or any other personality inside, but a avatar, a champion of Khonshu nonetheless, which means Khonshu knows who Kang is. Khonshu knows who Rama Tut is. And that's a really easy way to tie Moon Knight into this overall multiverse saga story and a very interesting way to do it as well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this happen in season two. And if you want to stay up to date on Moon Knight season two, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos and you can help us get to 1 million subscribers. However, according to this report, Kang won't be the only villain appearing in Moon Knight season two. As I mentioned, he also states that Mephisto is going to be one of the villains in this show as well, plus one more that we'll talk about in just a bit. Now, Mephisto being in Moon Knight Season 2 has a very specific purpose, and this is to directly set up Moon Knight's connection to the Midnight Suns. According to Daniel RPK, the Midnight Suns movie is going to start filming right after Blade gets done filming, meaning Marvel wants to move pretty quickly with it. And when we think about who's going to be members of the Midnight Suns, we have Blade, of course, Moon Knight, maybe the Punisher, and we've heard that Ghost Rider is indeed coming to the MCU. He might make his debut in the Midnight Suns, or he might get a project for himself before that. We don't really know at this point. We also have Man-Thing, Werewolf by Night, Elsa Bloodstone, and whoever else they throw in there. But according to some insiders, it's looking like Lilith, who is going to be the villain of Blade, as far as we know, it is undergoing some rewrites right now, so who knows, but Lilith is supposed to be the villain of Blade and supposed to be one of the villains for the Midnight Suns, along with Mephisto. And if Deadline is accurate on their report, they state that they believe Sasha Baron Cohen is playing Mephisto in the Ironheart series. So Mephisto will have already been introduced before Moon Knight Season 2, but him appearing in Season 2 is simply to connect Moon Knight to the Midnight Sun so he can appear in that project and be a part of the team. Now, Holyfield News states that there are going to be several villains in this, so there could be more villains to come in Season 2, but they also do state that the Midnight Suns will also have some sort of a participation in this project, so we could see other heroes. This is coming after Blade, so perhaps Blade could show up. Or perhaps they could introduce new heroes like Ghost Rider, which I think a lot of us would really love to see. But let us know, are you excited for Moon Knight Season 2, and who would you have be a part of the Midnight Suns team lineup? Let us know in the comments below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date on all the recent MCU news. We'd love your support on other platforms. We'll link them down below in the pinned comment, as well as the information about our giveaway. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.